Damn. Ain't this a great sight to see. We got both Gen 86s. Look at that. We got Harley's brand new GR86. And of course, the Varus 86. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be working on my FRS. I know it's been a while since we did anything to this car. But today, we're installing the one thing. Ah, uh, sadly. <laughs> not the door handles. They still won't be going on today. I'm too lazy to paint the door handles. Next video. I promise. But... The part that we're going to install today is something I've been waiting for so long to install, but literally every single time I want to order one of these things, it's like a year out for shipping in Japan. So, Harley, you have any guesses? I think we're going to take off this piece of shit duck bill that's not even <laughs> hanging on anymore. <laughs> yes, sir. So the duck bill that's currently on it is just some cheap $100 eBay duck bill, and it does not fit great at all. But I had to run this temporarily because I thought it looked pretty weird to have a fully aggressive carbon fiber kit and literally an empty trunk. But today we're going to strip this thing right off and slap on a brand new wang. Let's go get it. Bro, look at the size of this wang though. Oh my god. And check it out. It's fully carbon fiber and everything and shout out to my homie joseph he lives in the bay area i saw this wing get posted for such a deal this is an end game gt wing and usually they retail for like two grand i got this for 850 dollars and i live in seattle so my homeboy went to pick it up and shipped it to me but sadly ups decided to fuck me over at first shipping was only going to be 200 dollars but I just got an email saying that they're upcharging me a thousand dollars for two inch difference because there's a two inch difference in the dimensions like are you fucking kidding me bro so I went from getting a wing for what a thousand and some change to paying like two thousand dollars fuck you UPS if you're seeing this fuck you <laughs> all right before we unwrap this let's try to take off that duck bill all right Ooh, it's gonna be fucking fat, dog. Ah, and just like Derek, typical, bro. I can't find. Like, <laughs> we can't find what we're looking for. Bro, ever since I moved to the shop, I've neglected this garage. So that shit thrown everywhere. Hey, but check this out, though. Check it out. Look at this fresh nice. bumper Ooh. and side skirts and stuff I just painted. So if you guys need any parts painted for a pretty solid price, hit your boy up on Instagram at that man Derek. Hello. All right, guys, Derek is stressing about finding the heat gun. I suggest we just use this big ass Mr. Heater. Be a lot hotter, be a lot faster. Don't have to worry about paint peeling, but it is what it is. All right, boys, finally found my heat gun. I hope this duck bill comes off without any paint peeling or anything, or else I'm gonna be real upset. But it looks like most of it is already off, so it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Like always, your boy doesn't have the tools he needs. I left my drill at the shop, so now we gotta drive to my shop and pick it up. So, adventure time. Damn, it's been a while since these moved. I definitely gotta start the build on this one and this one real soon. And I definitely gotta finish this S13 right here so I can go ahead and sell it to one of you guys. Pretty mint. But the reason why we're here is to grab drill and a drill bit. All right, we got the drill and drill bit all packed up. Let's go install this thing. Yo, our wing got nothing on this truck, bro. Look at this truck. They got a whole ass wing on it. The rumble bee. Yes, sir. All right, you guys want to see a little tip and trick on how to remove like 3M or any adhesive stuff? You pick up yourself one of these eraser pads and a drill, and then they should come right off. You just slap it on like a normal drill bit. Okay, and then you go to town. Look at that. Look at that. It's erasing. I went to town on that one.
All right, guys, here's a little update. So this wing didn't come with any templates or anything. And the main issue I have with it is there are studs on the bottom of the brackets. That means that we have to drill the spots perfectly or else these studs won't go in it. And since we have no templates, literally I've been trying to think of a bunch of ways to do this and I couldn't. So the only solution was I taped up the trunk I marked where the middle of the trunk is, I measured the half distance between these two stands, marked it which was this edge of that tape, and then I used a tape measure, made sure the gap from here to here and here to here is equal, that's what I did, and then I used my marker, traced around the little studs right there, so when I go ahead and drill it, I just drill dead center of it, and I think that should be good. I think <laughs> you think it'll work? I mean, shit. Hopefully. Who's gonna tell by a centimeter or two, you know? That is true, but just look at how good this wing's gonna look on this car. I wish I could get out of the way for you guys. Ooh! It's okay, bro. We'll drill this and then we'll install it and then they can see. Okay, is there anything we should do before we take this off? Go get some food? <laughs> no. Okay, you know what? Let's just take it off and start drilling. Alright, you guys ready for this? Fuck it. Yes, sir. Ooh, wait, where are the front hill drills gonna go? Uh, I'm gonna use a tape measure to measure from front to back. Sound like a good idea? That makes sense. Have you guys seen the per person on TikTok that that swings his speaker? I kind of want to do that with the wing. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> I was like, I just don't want to break this wing. That's true. That is very, ex very expensive, bro. All right, boys. I think I'm gonna send her. <laughs> Fuck it. Pray for me. Okay, smack dab in the middle. Right there. Fuck, there's really no going back now. Now for the big boys. <laughs> ah! Trunk. Oh. Oh. Why are you going so deep, bro? I have to, to go all the way through. How else are we gonna thread it? You think it's multiple layers? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, at least these two are symmetrical. Okay. Now I have to see. Okay. Uh, you gotta hold the wing for me, bro. I have yeah. to see if I could reach the stud. The cam. Oh. Fuck. Where are the studs? Oh, I I see it. I can feel it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that hole we just drilled. Yes, sir. All right. I'm gonna attempt to bolt this down while Harley holds it up. All right, boys, it's getting kind of dark right now, so this might be a two-part install. I'll pick this up tomorrow, and uh, I'll finish it, but Harley just took off the rest of the bubble wrap. <laughs> Let me show you guys how it looks. Show him, Harley. Show him. Ow! Oh, dude, fuck. Dude, dude you can't even so see because it's kind of dark, but fuck. Oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> All right, it's getting too dark. I can barely see what I'm working on and I'm guessing you guys can't see either. So I'll go ahead, pick this up tomorrow when it's light out and hopefully we'll have it done by then. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. What's up guys, it is now the next day. Let's go ahead and finish slapping on this wing already. I laid out the template. This is the last hole I have to drill out right there. And I went ahead and I bought some nuts and bolts. Let me see if I can find them. Right here. All right, there we go. We got new nuts and bolts ready to go. Let's drill out these two last holes. All right, holes are now all drilled out. Now I'm crossing my fingers that these templates are actually accurate or else uh, I'm gonna have a little problem because these holes will not line up. All right, let's grab the wing and test fit it real quick. Uh-oh, we have a problem. So I put in one nut on the studs already, and then I looked at the hole I drilled for the bolt. That one can be bolted in, but that one, I don't even know where the bolt hole is. Oh my God, what the hell do I do? Ah, now I gotta take this wing off, mount the template again, try to figure out what's wrong with this, guys. I'm telling you this right now, if you're ever buying a wing, please buy one that doesn't have a stud sticking through the bottom. I didn't even know this was a thing until I bought it. When this wing came in and I saw the studs, I knew this was gonna be an issue. But 
we're gonna try our best to solve this issue because at the end of the day, worst comes to worst and I drill extra holes, I can always weld them up and repaint. So let me figure this out real quick and then I'll update you guys. Round three. All right, y'all, moment of truth. Does it line up? Yes, sir. We got one down. What about this one? Yes, sir. All right. Both holes are officially lined up. Let's go ahead and bolt the swing up. Everything is nice and secured. I tightened these bolts. I tightened the nuts that are right there. Moment of truth. Let's see how this thing looks like with the new dinner table on the trunk. Ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one. Oh. oh my god guys this looks so freaking good i think this is the last thing the car needed because oh 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 and i love the angle of the wing because it makes the wing stick out instead of stand straight up oh fire what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna order the other base plate for this which is a little thicker i think that'll look a lot better but I'm a little concerned of how wobbly this is, because look at this. It kind of shakes, but I'm not sure if it's because of the wing or because of the soft trunk, because the FRS trunks are pretty flexible. Look at that. The trunk is moving itself. So hopefully this doesn't go flying off on the freeway. I'm gonna go ahead and test it out right now. We're gonna pull up to a location, film some cinematics, and give it a little test drive to see how she looks. Here's a little cold start for the boys. pretty much wraps up today's video let me know what you guys think about the new wang on the frs now the frs is officially a part of big wang gang with this aim gain gt carbon fiber wing right here i think it looks so good on the car it was definitely the missing part of this build before the duck build did not do it justice but now whew, fucking mint and I did drive it around a little bit, and when I looked in the rear view mirror, it didn't shake as much as I thought that it would, so that's real good. That means I can freely drive this thing without worrying about this flying off and hitting someone in the back, and even worse, breaking the carbon wing. We don't want that. So like always, guys, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.